And speaking of beauty. I, I'm telling huh. you, there's a beautiful uh, person. Right on there the on your right. I know. Yes. And she's beautiful. from Fremont, California. And uh, my goodness, right here it says she's an evangelist. Yeah. She's a former actress, yeah. uh, singer, and model. Uh, she has an autobiography. And it's called, I love the title, it's called Blame It on Vanity Denise. Tonight, <laughs> and she's also on this night. She's a birthday lady. Uh, birthday, yeah. Well, oh, happy she's birthday. A birthday lady. So we welcome tonight Denise Matthews. God bless you, Praise Denise. Thank you. Glad you're here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, happy birthday. Thank happy you. you. Must know, be my, about. Uh, pardon me. This must be about birthday number twenty-two. Uh, no, we're, yeah. Well, you know what? I, I like actually getting older. You know, I, I never had any problem with it. You know, when, the why did you of, point at us when you said that? No, 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 I was lifting you up said, my hands. You said, I, I was, enjoy getting I older. <laughs> <and> you pointed, <laughs> I you pointed, you pointed. I know, I did, you know what, I use my hands a lot. I'm 42 today. And oh, my. I'm, kidding. I'm, wow. Yeah, I'm 42 today, and I just, I'm just thankful to be alive, really. Wow. Yeah. And you had to tell me you were 42, didn't you? Oh, you know, I tell I everybody. mean, look at this. <laughs> I tell everybody. You look wonderful. I used to, you know, when I was, when I was back in the day, when I was Vanity, former Vanity, the actress and the singer and the model, and some whatever that, that was. was. your, that was kind of like a stage name, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You know, and, and, and it was a bad stage name. Wasn't it bad? Yeah, it does. Come on now. <laughs> Help me out here. No, it was, it, it was, um, I guess it was appropriate for, you know, the meaning of it. Uh, it means worthlessness. Oh, really? Yes. Vanity means worthlessness, so that's why I don't call myself vanity anymore. Praise God. Oh. Is that's that, a good reason to get rid of that's it. That's the definition. So. I think yeah. that, well, that's, that's a name not to name your children. That's right. Mm. But it was appropriate mm. for the lifestyle that I was living as vanity. And, and not because uh, it was, had anything to do really big with vain, you know, because I wasn't staring at myself in the mirror all the time. As a matter of fact, I very much hated the life that I was living. Tell me about the life you're you know, um, and, and I really wanted to talk about, just touch on this subject. I, I'm really so blessed by uh, the words that came out of Mr. T and how God is just, you know, it, it's, it's just powerful. What's powerful about it is that he loves Jesus. Yeah, it's real. And you can see that he's just in love and sold out for Jesus, and, yeah. and that's great. And, and God, you know, continues to mold us and shape us and transform us and all that stuff. And, and that's what I love about, uh, about the, this life, this salvation in God, because you continue to grow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, and that, that's the thing that I was, I, I've been constantly in prayer about. Lord, you know, you can get to a certain level in your life and still you want to, I, I, you know, I, I'm sure that, that you feel the same way. You never feel like you've no. hit exactly it, you right. know, you're like, oh that's God, exactly you still, right. he still shows you something else yeah. about yourself. And, and with vanity, <laughs> with that person, that, uh, that image that, uh, that, uh, was, that it was really that was. overtaken me. Yeah, yeah whoever, she was. whoever she was. You know, it was, it, it was, it came from, and it really stemmed from, and which I wanted to talk on that subject, hit on that subject, was forgiveness. It, it, it all stemmed from the fact that I was constantly looking for somebody to love me in my family. My mother had left me on the doorstep. My father... Uh, Why do you mean your mother left you on the doorstep? Yeah, she left me on, on, on a doorstep, you know, one day when I was, I was about four years old. And she had just dropped me off. And, um, you know, that's your mom. Mm -hmm. And I was very much in love with my... You know, I had a really bond, a bond with my mother. And, uh, but she left me because she was about to marry a man that did not want any black kids, you know, oh. and, and, and whatever that was. But, you know, that's a part of also forgiving, you know, a root of forgiving, of forgiveness. And... Then she dropped me off at my um, father, but he said that he was not my father. And so then I became this, this person that was beaten and tortured and, and tormented and, you know. What age? Right, from four? Yeah, yeah. Four through what? Through Till. until he died, which I, I was um, 15 years old. Now let's get this straight. You're talking about beaten and tortured by? My father. My father. He was your biological father? All of us your children. Biological all of, all of the children were. Biological father? Yeah, well, um, you know, he says he wasn't. Mom says she, that he was. Wow. But you know what? It, 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 the beauty of this whole thing, because everything works together for the good, and I really trust in that, Jesus became my daddy. He became my mother and my father. He became everything to me, mm. you know, in a real, in a strong sense of the word. <laughs> and so I minister that today. I minister that a lot. And you see, my father used to would make things to, uh, to, to beat me with. And, oh. and spend hours beating me. And um, he was very cruel and very wicked and... When and you went to school, didn't the teachers know? You know, back in that, in that time, people just didn't, they didn't talk about it. It wasn't a big, you know, do you remember? Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, it was 42 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah. Anyhow, you know, that does not hurt me today. But when I came to Jesus, and, and this, is, this is really what I wanted to, to talk about today, because there's a lot of souls. I'm, I'm, I like to say that I'm a soul winner. I love to win souls. I love to tell people about Jesus, whether it's on wise, the, where, yeah. wherever I go, I, you know, and I want to be wise. You're wise. You know? That's what the Bible says. The Lord gives with them, wisdom, and out of His mouth comes knowledge and understanding. So I, you know, constantly asking God, give me. I lack wisdom. Give me wisdom. How to save souls? I live and I breathe and I move and have my being just to save souls, because that's really the heart of God, isn't it? Yes. Sure. When you can, when you really know the heart of Jesus Christ. He's not here. He's not with us. So, okay, we're going to become this, the rich and famous and whatever. He is, uh, the number one thing is he wants to win his people back into the kingdom. Mm. And so when you have that heart for him, he can use you. And, and you know, I had taken, through the, the name of vanity, taken many souls away because through the, the fleshly lusts and all that stuff that I did. Do you mind telling us how you yes, got I'm the name? Yes, I'm going to do that, but okay. one second. Okay, I, I wanted to get this point out because there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of people that are hurting right now in this area, and I've been witnessing this, and people are really struggling with this. They're unforgiving, even in the body of Christ, yes. okay? Yes. A lot of people have backslidden because of unforgiveness. A lot of people have been um, sitting, you know, and I preach all over the country, and uh, specifically, and I remember the root of my bitterness, and that was, I hated my father so much, mm. such a, a, with such a passion. Everything that I did, even as vanity, as I grew up, I used to talk to the dead. I was a necromancer. I was a psychic worker. No, I, don't, I was I don't know what that everything. Is, I, necromancer, somebody that talks to the dead. Oh my People Lord. are talking to the dead. You oh know, my. they're still talking to the dead and getting mad at my father and just carrying all this bitterness around of, uh, and, and, and this tough ex exterior, right? Yeah. You began and, to act it yeah, out. And, and began to make images of myself wow. so that, you know, because I hated myself. It, and God had to, when I first came to the Lord, uh, a prophet told me, the Lord said that he saw what happened to you as a child, mm. but he's going, you are going to be filled with so much joy, you're going to have your last cry. Many days since you're going to have your last cry. And because I would, I, I would even as vanity, when people were like, because, you know, out in the world, I'm not into idolatry, okay, and, and mm. I'm not into that worship thing. You know, if, if you're going to come and talk to me, it's going to be about Jesus. Mm -hmm. I minister Jesus, and I know that that old uh, vanity, it, it lures the people, and, and praise God, we want to use everything that we can. But I do not believe in saving the dark with darkness. Understand? Sure. Yeah. You know, and, and that's going on a lot in the churches. But anyhow, I had... Uh, I had uh, I was you can't do that. <laughs> no, you I can't. mean, I'm trying to say that you can't do that, but go ahead, go ahead. No, you can't do that. Can't, that can't be done. But uh, yeah, but yeah, but people try. Yeah, we yeah. take the old stuff and try to mess it with the new, and mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, I I I had begged the Lord um, to help me to forgive this thing because it's a root of bitterness, and it can eat you up, <laughs> and it can kill you, and it can destroy you, and people carry it, and we wonder. You know, it's it's really um, when the Lord began, and it, it only took about couple of weeks and I had my for my last cry and the Lord told me he woke me up very early in the morning he said this is this is the day and you will have your last cry how long ago was that that was um, eight years ago I've been eight years now in the Lord and oh, so wow. I have my last cry you the last and you know the, the strange thing about it I cried so hard and I began after I cried so hard you know and I forgave my father see the Lord had showed me all of my error all of my junk and he had forgiven me for so much. I was, like I said, I was a psychic worker. I was uh, so demonic, you know. I, I mean, I, I was so fleshly. I was vanity. I, I did the, the Playboy thing. I did, you know, and so I showed myself. I couldn't even think of doing something like that. God goes in and tr truly makes a heart change on you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and I don't have my films inside my house. Okay, no. Ripped them up, broke them up, tore them up, and threw them out. He, the yeah. Bible says, bring thou not a cursed thing into thine house, lest you be a curse like unto it, but thou shalt utterly detest it, destroy it, for it's a cursed thing. Mm. Yes. He said, cast ye away every man the abominations of your eyes, and defile not yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Mm. God does not like idolatry. Okay, he, uh, he, we know that he doesn't. He, he hates idol worship. He wants to be head of your life. Yeah. And so I had to get rid of vanity in order 
for me to see Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I had to get rid of it at all. Yeah. So I began to, you know, tear up pictures and stuff like that as the time, uh, you know, it's a process. Oh, it's a beautiful process. But I hated myself so much that I used to nail blankets up on my walls. And you're going to see this all in my book. My books uh, probably won't be out till the end of the year. This, yeah. And um, I used to nail blankets up on my walls because I was a drug addict. I became a drug addict when I, uh, I was in um, the a acting and the singing and stuff. And, you, can, you know, you fall into all those traps. But I was a, a generational curse, you know, a generational curse of drug addicts and alcoholics. So there I was, <laughs> and I was looking for love in all the wrong places. And by the time I got to Jesus, the root of bitterness, I hated everything about me. I would change my name any time I didn't make it, you know. If I didn't make it in this, okay, well, I'll go to that city and try and make it and change my name, you know. We're just going to be anything, anything and everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, collecting demons, you know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. <laughs> just collect them yeah. as we go. And um, the Lord showed me the, the, the real true root. See, I thought it was always drugs. That was the real root of my, uh, my, um, my sickness. But the real root was that I, the hatred and the bitterness, even to the point where... I hated, I hated me so much. Like I said, I would nail blankets on my walls and in my mirrors so I wouldn't have to look at me. Really? I hated me. And I'd go back into my house and be, you know, and be, come out and be vanity and go back in and cry and weep and hate this thing, this image that I had become and but, portrayed. But other people were adoring you. Yeah, and I was, I was begging God to kill me, and God would not kill me. He, and I tried so hard to die. I tried so many times to commit suicide, and it would not happen. I, could, I used to cry out, God, why won't you let me die? You know, and I would scream out. But anyhow, he did not let me die. I was like, a, uh, I was like, a, I was, there was so much cocaine inside of me. I smoked cocaine. I was a freebaser that you could lift me up and smoke me. I was so strung out on cocaine that I'd go out and I hit it, you know, and I'd go out and be vanity and come in and hate and rip my clothes up and just hate, literally hate, loathe myself and then blame my father and that root. And why you ask, why would I blame my father? Why would you think I would blame my father? Because it, it, I, I felt, okay, you planted that seed in my mama. You made me. It's your fault. Mm. So God had to heal that first. And take that, when God, when God begins to destroy some the, that root of bitterness, that hatred, that, you know, loathing, because I hated myself and I hated him, he had to tear it up from the root. God's got to get in the root and tear the whole root out. Mm -hmm. And he did that so marvelously. And, you know, and, and, and really, we have such problems today with forgiveness in the body of Christ. And God's not in it. I, I tell you. And it is, if you can forgive the greatest thing that ever hurt you in your life, if you've been raped, I was molested as a child, if you can, if you can forgive the greatest things in your life, you can forgive anything. You can forgive any, anything under that. You remember, you remember when the disciples uh, said to the Lord, uh, they had just finished raising the dead, casting out devils, doing cures, laying hands on the sick, all these things, wonderful miracles in the Lord, right? And then... I, I, and then the scripture says, the disciples came to the Lord and said, Lord, how many times am I supposed to forgive? Mm. And, and the Lord said, seven, seven times, he, they said, seven times, seven, he, no, 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 70 times seven in a day, right? And what did they say? Lord, increase my faith. Wait a second, you just finished casting out devils, laying hands on the sick, the blind are seeing, <laughs> you know, and, 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 and the deaf are hearing, You're ra we're raising the dead here, and you want me yeah. to, you want me to... <laughs> Strengthen your faith. Increase my faith, Lord, for forgiveness. Mm. For and forgiveness. so, yeah, for forgiveness. Nice. Something <laughs> as simple as forgiveness. And you know something? It really is pride. Mm. The Lord began to show the pride in, in me, the hypocritical me. You know, I, I don't know what, what, you, what you feel like when you're praying, but when I pray, I say, Lord, I don't like this, this, this. And we have to acknowledge our sin. God wants us to acknowledge it. What did you do? This is how you get cleaned up. Through the word, the, the washing of the word, looking in that word, seeing yourself. Sometimes we look at the word and say, yeah, that was him. Mm-hmm, that was her. Mm-hmm, she should have been there for that. Mm-hmm, you know? <laughs> and we don't look at ourselves. Right. And so when I read the word, I look and I say, okay, I'm like, oh, God, you know, I'm really like that. Oh, yeah, I did that. I was a hypocrite. I lied on that. Oh, God, I'm so... And so I want to see exactly... I want to wipe the vanity away. I want to wipe the Denise away. I want, when I look at me to see more Jesus. I don't want to, I don't want to, mm. I, I don't care about me. I want to see Jesus. 
you know? Mm -hmm. and, and I am so grateful to see, I, let, I, I, I found my, myself because I had come to the Lord, given my life, right? Been blessed that he would just even save my life because I, I couldn't even figure out why he would. He saves my life and what do I do 30 days later? Don't even know nothing about backsliding. Don't know that seven greater demons are coming upon me. What do I do? I end up in the hospital with 250 high blood pressure over 190. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. I had uh, internal <laughs> bleeding. I had uh, uh, um, uh, um, both kidneys completely shot, a heart attack, a stroke, lost my eyesight, lost my hearing, and I from was what? I was uh, just messed up from uh, paralyzed from the neck down, couldn't walk, couldn't move, and both kidneys gone. Uh, uh, my um, um, uh, drugs. Drugs. You know, mm -mm. just drugs. Still not wanting, and seriously not wanting to. Uh, feel pain. The reason most of us do drugs is because we don't want to face reality. I did not want to feel pain. And so uh, I went out there and I did it again. And, 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 and really ignorant of the fact that you, just because you're 30 days sober doesn't mean that you can. You know, God had completely healed me. God will heal you. You know what I'm saying? Just like that, in a, miraculously. But when we turn back to sin, you know, we... It, when we turn back to sin, and, 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 and the Lord knows exactly what is going to do it. He knows the measurement, the perfect measurement that's going to make you crawl back to him. They had given me three days, and they said, you're going to die in three days. Mm. Now, I had minute hearing, just enough hearing in this, in this ear, because this one's deaf, and this one was, I could hear a ringing, and I could hear just enough for the doctor to tell me, you will die in three days. There's no hope for you. Uh -huh. Now, I cried, and I, I begged to God, and I, I put one of those sugar plum honey <laughs> prayers, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, and, and it was real. I was scared because the Bible says, He that overcometh shall inherit the kingdom of God. I will be as God. He will be my son. But the fearful, the unbelievers, the whoremongers, the idolaters, whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I had not overcome anything. <laughs> what did I overcome? When God knows exactly. You know how people say, well, what about the people?